Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Crypto News Channel. The future of technology, the future of freedom, the future of news, and all this have a binary code. Daily Crypto News. Ethereum PO W proponents vow to abolish EIP 1559. In a long thread, the Ethereum fork supporters said EIP 1559 was an attempt by the Ethereum Foundation to build a bullish narrative at the expense of the miners. They also accused the TEF and its friends of coercing miners into cooperating at ease. Stablecoin provider Circle has joined the growing list of platforms that have announced full support for the switch to a POS chain. Tether also extended its support to service the new chain upon launch. Chainlink confirmed that it will not support Ethereum forks after the merge. SOL with another attempt at $4-4, will the bulls finally make it? A relatively good buy volume has taken SOL higher, but it seems that buyers struggle to maintain their momentum at the time of this post. The daily RSI remains above 50 points and has a good chance to break the resistance. The short-term bias for SOL is bullish. The short-term bias is bullish. SOL is a long-term bullish position. SOL price manages to move above $4-4 today, but this can just as easily turn into a fake breakout. A successful breakout would open the way for SOL to reach $1.60, but that seems far away at this time. TYDX confirms blocking accounts linked to Tornado Cash. TYDX has tweaked its compliance policies and unblocked certain accounts platform said it will work towards limiting flagging while monitoring this issue. Tornado Cash has been added to the U.S. Treasury's sanctions list. Several platforms have taken drastic measures to block access to the privacy tool. GitHub deleted accounts of Tornado Cash contributors immediately after the sanctions list was added. That's all the most interesting news so far. Don't forget to subscribe to Daily Crypto News and hit the bell so you don't miss important crypto signals. See you soon.